So hi you guys, I am just going to record this video um, just by myself, which isn't as much fun. I'll do my best to make it a little bit lively with you. Um, and um, that's just the way it is. I'll still sing to you and <laughs> try to encourage you and just pretend you're here, okay? That's the best I can do. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna start with the song. Well, I can tell by the way you throw your paint. You're an artist, yeah. No time to waste. Brushes wet and paper torn. You've been dreaming, yeah, since you were born. And now you're all right. You're okay. Let's get ready to splash and play because it's fun to understand the creative pull in our hands. Whether you're a brother or whether you're a mother, you're playing in paint, playing in paint. Splashing, we're not faking and everybody's shaking. We're playing in paint, playing in paint. Playing in paint, playing in paint, ah, 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 ah. Playing in paint, playing in paint. I know that sounds nothing like the song. <laughs> well, now you paint low and you paint high. Don't expect perfection, don't even try. Got the wings of heaven in your blues. You're a painting girl and you just can't lose. And now you're all right, you're okay. Let's get ready to splash and play because it's fun to understand the creative pull in our hands. Whether you're a brother, whether you're a mother, you're playing in paint, playing in paint. Splash and we're not faking and everybody's shaking. We're playing in paint, playing in paint. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, plain and paint, plain and paint. Okay, you guys, we are plain and paint. Let's do this. Let's do this. We'll do the best we can with me recording all by myself, feeling like a little bit of a loner, but here we go. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. All righty, check it out. Here is a sample of the one I did before. This is the second one I did. This is the first one I did. So we're gonna just go a little bit of comparison. I used a lot more yellow, I used more blue, and that's what I'm gonna do with the one we're working on now. I'm gonna bring the blue down into here and into our, our, um, our branch, okay? This one's cool, um, but this is different and I like it too. So we're going to use this one sort of as the model, um, just the background part. And here we go, look at that white just jump out at me. Um, okay, so I told you I need to kind of soften this around here. I'm going to start with that. You may not need it, but I didn't want to work without you. I'm tempted all the time, but I don't. I'm like, oh, I could do this and get this straightened out before we go to class. So here we go. I've got my scrubby brush. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to scrub this out. It's still going to be a little bit lighter than the background on mine. I just didn't go quite close enough. When I was in a hurry, I did my background. I didn't go quite close enough. Okay, can you see that? I just, I just, I don't like that white in between there. I like this white. I think this looks great. It looks like a, a, the highlight because the light's coming from this direction. Um, but right here, I just don't care for that. I think it looks, it draws your eye and it just looks unfinished. Okay, my Kleenex here, and I'll just talk to you as much as I can. I know you're not going to have any questions because you're not here to ask them. I will try to maybe anticipate some questions. I'm going to pull this over a little bit more. Let's see if I can get you a little bit closer. Yeah, that looks good. So see how that um, from before. So if you have any spaces like that, like little white areas that you don't want, grab a brush that is um, like a, an acrylic brush. Are you talking to them, Tom? Nope. Okay. Um, an acrylic brush. So we watched Mulan. It was really good, so I recommend it. It was a fun, it's, you know, it's not as fun as going to the movies to see it, but it was fun. Okay, so um, we're looking at this and kind of just um, what I plan to do today as far as my idea that I was going to do is... I'm gonna leave the background as it is. I'll go ahead and move into the paint, into the um, these these chicks here, which aren't that important. And then I wanna bring this down into here, like how I did here. <clears throat> I really like that. I wanna bring this down into here to the same color so that it is obviously a part of the same painting. All right, um, we've gotta do her feet. So what I'll do is I'm gonna move this way first and then I'm gonna to go to her feet, 
okay? So I'm gonna get my brush right here, my one that I've been using lately, which is the rosemary brush, which I really like. I like that it's holding its point for so much, uh, for so long. Okay, so let's evaluate where we are. Um, how about I start with this one and come back because I'm right-handed? It doesn't really matter where we are with it. So we're gonna start with this one and come back. I've already got some of the color laid down on it. And I'm gonna look at my photo reference. This bird doesn't have a whole lot of description, but he's darker than the one next to him. So we be able, should be able to knock these out pretty fast. Am I too glary here? That's the other thing with this. Hey, Helen, would you go grab me a piece of cardboard and um, block this light here at the bottom? And let's see if this helps. No, that does it too much. Okay. It's a little bit, a little bit glary there. Okay, so I'm going to get some... Um, Looking at this color, it's sort of a, a warmer color, warmer brown, and I've already got that started. So let's get closer. The head is dark, so I'm gonna go into some of my French ultramarine blue. Like that? Yeah, I think that's better. And my burnt sienna, right here. Mix those together. and get that nice brown. So I didn't go black, I went to a brown, so I've got more of the burnt sand and not, not the brown. And I'm gonna look at this, and I see a lighter bit above and a darker bit below. So his, her, her face, his face, I'm just gonna go right in, wet into dry. And just following the shape. And I know you guys tease me about breast hairs. <laughs> but it's a booby trap. That's so funny, huh? So kind of, you know, make your brush skip a little bit. Don't do it a, a flat, straight on, everything's the same. So kind of skip it a little bit. And if you lose something like I just did, make a little tissue, because I kind of want that middle to stay. This bird, you don't have to spend too much time on. Just kind of paint it and then move on. This comes across a little bit more. See right here, it comes out a little bit and they do meet right there. Kind of come up in here. It's gonna look like a little chick down in the corner and that's all we're looking for. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under this bird here. So this is what's gonna define the upper bird, the one that's above. So look at the shape of this bird and try to follow that. So, and then we'll go into, we'll skip this bird well, we'll see, I may not, I'll just decide as we go. So it has a little bit of a neck there, a little bit of a neck thing coming back. Um, and this head kind of comes across like a little cap. Alrighty, um, and that looks like it's a def definition of a bird already. I, I'm gonna get rid of this outline of white. We'll get rid of that. You can leave a little bit of it, but just for the most part, don't make it look like a whole line. Um, she does have some down here, so you can leave that. Basically, just observe your photo as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to go back into my ultramarine blue. Wait, I think it's there. And into the burnt sienna again to get that nice brown. A little more blue to make it more gray. I'm gonna take the water out of my brush right there. And um, looking at my paint, my little photograph here, it gets dark right in here. See how dark it gets right there? So, right there. Yeah, so we went fishing today. Following that shape, it gets dark under this yellow hint too. There's no white, see this white here? I'm gonna get rid of that. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day. Super warm, got home. And I have something to tell you guys. My brother had brought me 20 more chickens. Oh my gosh. So his girlfriend had was told, I'm gonna go up here in the eye now, I'm gonna get that dark, dark. And the eye shape here is pretty, 
pretty um just you know just looks like a little round shape but but when you see it on there you'll go oh that's a chick and his little beak has a little dark under it too if you look really close there's a little dark under it but it's basically a white beak and then it's kind of dark on the other side too and it's a little bit browner as i can see it a little bit browner so i'm using the tip of my brush bringing it around Okay, so let's take a peek at the shape. It kind of drops down there. It's a little bit darker still on this breast area. And I might just drop some of that one off. It looks like it might be poking out a little too much. You can change it up if you like, like I did. And I want to make it a little more feathery. I'm just going to bring some of these out randomly. Remember I said don't make it one straight line. I started with that, but get a little randomness there. And over here too. Just trying to copy the photo. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. Don't get too caught up in making each individual thing perfect. We're just gonna move on. Let's go ahead and skip over using the same color that I have on here. See how it's like a darker little speckly thing right here on the neck? We're just gonna go and make some little speckles. Okay, still wet into dry, little speckles. And don't use the same color, maybe get a little more blue, a little more brown, whichever you want, whichever one is opposite. And now on the back side of him, she, he, it, it gets darker kind of in a row a little bit. They kind of join together. So just follow that. There we go. So sorry about the internet being a, not cooperating. Now I'm hoping that this will be able to be downloaded too. Okay, so remember I said we want to put some of the background color into the um, to the chicks and the hen, um, but you want to think about that as you go. This one doesn't really need it, but not all of them need it. Okay, so we just kind of got some spots in there, but I do want to get some blues in her fur right in here, not fur, her feathers. So we'll just kind of drop it, leave some of the yellow behind, let some of the yellow show through. These are going to look like chicks, everyone. Don't even worry about it. They're already the shape of a chick, so they're going to look like a chick. No one inspects, no one can see the photograph. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the front part of her here. It's darker, see how it gets darker? And there's also a line in between, so I'll go back into my darker, wet into dry, and there's this super dark here, and then there's a super dark line there. So my drawing isn't that great, so don't even worry about that. Just kind of follow the photograph, and it's darker than that. It gets a little bit lighter right in there. Some of you guys have already finished this part. And there's this, see there's kind of a, there is a white highlight line around the outside of her there. So let's leave that there for her. Totally different color than um, right there, that's that green. So we're just kind of going up here. Yeah, just follow it along. I made my line a little bit too big. So I'm gonna get my tissue and I'm gonna lift it up. And then I'll make it darker because it was darker. So I'll just go into some darker paint. And it kind of comes down there. Okay. Okay, now I've got blue here, which is fine. Remember, blue and brown mixed together make a nice black. And these feathers are kind of going a little bit sideways. Okay, let me take a peek. Let's put her eye in. See, I don't get too caught up in everything looking just so, just perfect right off the bat. And they will never look perfect anyway. Our goal here is just to have a lot of fun and to paint. Now, there's no white in her eye. So we don't have to worry about the whites of the eye, but we still want to get the shape, and there's still a little bit of highlight around it. We don't want to get too worked up about these ones on the end. I did leave a little highlight. Now her beak has a little bit of a, and I'm, I'll probably come back and darken that. Her beak looks kind of a, a reddish uh, yellow, so I'm going over into my red right there, into some red, it's mostly cad red, and then I've already got 
about the right color that I want, maybe a little more orangey yellow. So I'll go back there. And the shape of that beak, it comes clear up on top of her head. And I've lost that in the drawing, but I'm still going to go ahead and paint it there. I painted over that when I did the background, but it might be able to bring it back. You guys probably didn't do that because you're going to be taking more time. I work a little bit faster. I know um, I need to to get things done for you guys, and I know you guys can rewind it and fast forward it. So she's looking like she has a beak, and what I'll probably do is um, come back later and lift this out, that line right there out, so I can bring up that, that, um, that beak thing. Okay, let's move on to this one. Now this one's mostly gray. So let's, we did this one, we did this one blue and um, ultramarine blue, and uh, excuse me, blue, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, but heavier on the brown. And let's do this one heavier on the blue. Cause you can see that she's a little more gray and she's a little more warmer. I just have my scrubby brush. I'm gonna lift out a little bit of paint here. Okay, so we're moving on to this one. I'm just gonna leave that one alone for now, not work too much on that one. Oh wait, you know what? I think I wanna get her head a little bit more um, gray. So I'm back into my bluish color. Yep, just painting along. And I think I'll put my uh, dark along the back of her head too. I hear my chicks outside my window, these baby chicks. So yeah, my brother's like, hey, do you want to have a few more? And I'm like, well, not really. He goes, well, I'll help you take care of them. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and bring some of this down further across both sides of this one. I know I said I was moving on, but I just see a couple of things I want to do. Dance that brush around. Jump around. It does get a little bit darker there. So I'm going to take some of my brown mixture and get right next to the breast on that. And that's the, the feathers I loved of that. And I want to try to keep that. I want that. I like that. It's not super obvious over, like if you, if you zoom out and see the whole painting, it's not super obvious. But when you zoom in, it's kind of fun to see. I'm going to darken that eye right now. I went into red and some dark blue. And that'll work, I'm sure. It's just we want it dark. It doesn't have to be black or a mixture that we make of black. It just looks like a dark eye there. Okay, let's move on to this little guy. You can see the head slightly peeking out of there. It's more yellow, but that's okay. We can make it gray. Back into burnt sienna and the French ultramarine blue. But remember, we're going heavier on the blue to get more of a gray. And that looks pretty gray to me. Okay, so let's get on it. And we're going to go under this one's head, this one's head right here. And get that dark area in there. Okay, and I'll skip around here a little bit, finding the shape of that one. So I think I'm going to go over here again and get that head a little bit darker while it's still wet. Okay, so I see lots of little whites in there, so just skip the brush around just a little bit. And then the feathers kind of angling down this way because now we're getting the, we're getting more uh, we're getting closer to the other one so we'll go ahead and find a little bit more definition we can go like that and then come down and now it's going to get more and more light i'm going to rinse my brush and dry it so now i have less pigment on it so it should be lighter Now, once we have paint on the brush, if we go back into, um, I mean, once we have paint on the paper, now we can go back in and do wet into wet, which is one of my favorite ways to paint. More control with this. 
and less without. Did you guys hear the dog just snore? So I'm just trying to find a, a, a variety of uh, colors there. Back into the paint here. I want it to be darker, so remember to get darker paint, you need to make it thicker. So I'm going to take some water out of the brush. That's a little too blue, so I go more into brown. Still too blue, more into brown. Go back into blue, a little too blue, or a little brown. <laughs> back and forth. It all works out. What's that? Can I help you with anything? No, Tom's asking if he can help. Bless his heart. Okay, I want it to be darker up here. All righty, I'm gonna go ahead and look up at the screen here and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's looking cute. And I'll just drop a little bit more in here because there's areas where it needs to be darker still. And I wanted it to look bluer than that one, and it does look bluer. And this kind of comes across all the way here. Do you see that? comes all the way there, and I need to do that. Let's get that one darker there. Okay, I'll go on top of his head. There's a darkness on his head, and then it gets lighter. So we'll bring that darkness to the back. See right there, it's dark in the back, and we'll leave that gray to the front. And the beak is nondescript. I don't see any eyes, I don't see any beak. Okay, so just follow that, and now that that's wet, it should pull some of that down and forward. I'm gonna drop a little more brown in that so it ties in with that head. Okay, I think that looks okay. I'm gonna ask you guys how you're doing. I'd love to say hi, 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 but I don't know who's here. Actually, I know all of you guys are gonna be here. I can say hi to Joe, I can say hi to Melody, I can say hi to Peggy. Okay, let's move on to this one. And we're not working too wet, so we're okay. This one, I think I want to do wet into wet. So let's get the brush wet. Let's give this one a shot. Um, stay away from the yellow here. We're gonna leave that yellow. So I'm gonna just paint where, with water where the dark brown is on this one. And we'll see how that works. There's a dot right there by its eye. Okay, and so we're gonna paint right here. Come on down, leave some of this area here with yellow. We'll just go right to the back. Yeah, come on down here. So anybody local who needs eggs, I'm going to have them. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how many of you guys watched Mulan, but you can buy it. So I'm just, I'm just wetting where I see the, the darker areas. So I'm leaning down to see where I've wetted. This I can leave lighter. Okay. Darker. Okay. There we go. So this one, do you see how this is a browner color than that? You can tell, right? That's warmer and that's cooler. So again, we do it just using the same two pigments. And that's that French ultramarine blue or ultramarine blue and um, burnt sienna. We're going to go, we're going to favor the brown side though. A little more brown. In fact, it looks even a little more orange. I might just pop a little bit of my orange there up in it just to make a little bit of a change. So I've got water on my paper, wet into wet. We're going to let that water do the work for us. Drop it in. Avoiding that area here. Just little touches here. 
See why it's one of my favorite ways to paint because it paints for you. I want to get a little more blue though. That's a little bit of a boring looking color. So just a little bit here and there. That's sort of by the eye. And it kind of comes down again with that line down the breast. The hairs on the breast, right? Like what I said. <laughs> Some of you guys have teased me about that. And you should. Like I said, sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying when I'm painting. It's pretty funny. So, and it's recorded for all time, so that makes it even funnier. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming here. I'm looking at this, this little area here so we can bring a few little dots in there. And it comes down. Just using the tip of my brush. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now I've just got a wet brush and I'm going to try to pull some of these over so there's not a sharp edge. If I get too much on here like it looks like I could, um, I can put my wet brush on it and it should push that pigment away. Looks like I need it dark right there though. We had dinner last night with friends some Indian dinner that was made with us by one of your classmates. Super yummy. Okay, so I'm just looking at the shadow. I jumped back over there because I want that shadow to be darker. And I'm looking up and I see I want it to be even darker still. So I'm going to put some blue on that. Random little feathers going out. Yeah, I think I need a little more there. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the whole, the whole thing back and forth. So you look too and see what you can see. You need to start being able to observe. I like us to paint together. I'm really sad that this isn't live because this is one of the... Everything okay, Tom? Yeah, I'm going to get all the paint off. One of the fun things about it is the um, camaraderie when we paint. So. I don't know what's going on and I apologize so much. If, if Facebook is gonna have issues with it, then maybe we have to go to a different platform. And I really like the Facebook one, so I'm kind of sad to think about that. Um, I'm gonna paint more of the breast on this one. Come up a little higher. And then I'm gonna go ahead and smoosh that so it's not so straight. So there's maybe a dip in it or something, a feather came forward, you know, it's not a straight line. And I also see it's a little browner than what I painted, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a brown part of it underneath. So I, I sent you guys a, um, an email, I copied the email and pasted it for you from a Dan Scott about what a beginner's mindset. And I think that um, it was really good. A beginner's mindset is pretty much hopeful, they're ready, they're humble, and it's a good one to have. And so losing that mindset is something that um, he said that a lot of the great artists from days gone by they didn't lose it. They kept that mindset. So um, I just thought it was really good. So keep, keep it, keep it, you know, be hopeful and um, don't talk down about yourself. Be your own best friend. It's super important to be your own best friend as you're doing this. Like right now, I'm just doing this all by myself and I'm like, oh, it's just so fun to see this come to life. And um, right now I'm scrubbing out this area on mine because I want to make it a little bit lighter. And I'm just using that scrubby brush. Um, any of the acrylic brushes you might have that are um, they're, um, synthetics. I mean, I said acrylic, but I meant synthetic. So any of those will probably work. And I'm going to go ahead and get back into my paint that I've been using all along. That combination. And I want to bring down this part. It's still a little bit wet. I just want to bring that shape down and then all around here too. 
so this is this area here that I'm looking at that I'm trying to keep. And we'll just sort of dot that around, push it around. So I kind of am missing painting hummingbirds. I want to paint one again. I haven't done them for a while. Alrighty. Let's get the black eye on this bird. I am going to put some water right here so I can soften the edges of this. Clear water. There's a white streak that mine's that stayed here, and I don't mind that. I'm going to leave it. The back of this bird is quite a bit darker. And browner. So just making my brush skip around. And that's getting closer. Remember watercolor dries lighter. I don't like the cap on that head. It's a little too um, straight edged, as you can see. So we just soften that edge. And what beet color do we want to use? Let's do, um, let's just do the same one. We'll just do sort of a reddish beet. And if you look at it, it's kind of coming down here. Into the face a little bit and it's dark right up here but the red the red will keep it separate from the bird behind it and I'll soften that a little bit just to pull it out from where I painted so there's paint on there and let's get his dark eye in there let's see I could sit straight in my chair that might be better <laughs> okay Get into my dark darks. Take out the water, use the tip of the brush. I think I'm gonna to go to the next eye since I have that on. Again, there's not much going on in there, no light. It's just a round dark area. If you wanna leave a little light, it's okay. Looks a little blue. Oops, took off my glasses and that kind of made a mistake on the eye, so I'll show you, we'll fix that though. Go back into this one. I could probably just get the tissue and go to the very edge where I see that and just push on it. And that took it away for the most part. See, so now it's a little more like the eye shape. Okay, we'll leave that chick alone. And we'll move on to the next one. This one is the one right here. And we're almost to the end. Um, oh, whoops, I said I was going to do that eye, so I'm going to do that eye. We'll get it right now. Now, this one does have a little bit of a highlight in it, so I will leave it. It's kind of right in the middle. And I have to be quiet for a minute while I paint that. Hello? Hi. Hi, I'm in the middle of a class. What's up? Oh, I'm fine, because I'll, I'll talk to you about it in a little bit, okay? But I'm in the middle of a class. It's not live because the internet is so slow and cycling is horrible. I think everybody's watching Mulan, so it's kind of sad, so I have to do a recording. Hmm? Yeah, I'm teaching one right now. <laughs> no, it's no problem. I'll talk to you later when I get done, okay? Okay, bye-bye, honey. That was Stephanie. Most of you guys know her. Okay, so I'm going to go around this, uh, this bird eye with a little bit of a fleshy color because I see it. 
And so we can get a little more detailed on this one because it's closer. So a little fleshy color around that eye. And get a little bit closer. Use that same color. I'm going to get it a little warmer. Going into my yellow a little bit, a little bit warmer. For his the beak here, I'm going to go around it. I think this is a going to be a rooster. And I'm going to put a little more red on that and bring it up a little bit. Okay, underneath I see a bluish green, so I'm going to go straight into my turquoise color um, and go right there with it. So I like to use some of the color in the background in, in the subject as well. So as you can see, I've done that here with this blue. The yellow's in a lot of the birds, and we've already used burnt sienna and the ultramarine blue. So we just need to make sure we keep that in mind as we go. I'm going to fan out this a little bit on the beak, so it's not just one weird-looking beak. It kind of joins in with the eye area. And the beak gets lighter. It almost becomes like a yellow, yellowish color. So I will go find some yellow, pale yellow. And I'm going to go under it because I see it's darker underneath. And that would make sense because that's where the shadow is. This poor little guy here, he's just a mess. He looks like he's, <laughs> he's had issues, and I want to work on him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift out some paint right now, and that way it'll be dry when I come back. He looks kind of like a buzzard sitting here, doesn't he? <laughs> Cute. Poor little thing. I'm sorry. Most things can be fixed. I see that it's also, he's lighter on up this part up here. So I'll lift out some paint there as well. That looks a little better. Okay, and you know, it's not any big deal because these are just chicks and nobody's gonna look closely at each individual one. At least I don't think they will. I'm gonna fold this right here. And while I'm at it with my lifting brush, remember I said I was gonna come back here, so I'm gonna lift out the head on this one. So that looks better. And I'll probably lift out that part. This brush is getting kind of a little bit um, frayed. So I have another one that I bought. Let's see if it's in better shape. Yeah, that's in better shape. I wonder if I can cut that to make it shorter and maybe I can still use it. I'm looking to see if these are actually the same. This one seemed different. Look at that. It is different. Oh, well, it's a bigger number. This is a two and this is a one. The one works a little better, but I did get these two. Um, oh, wait a minute, look at this, let's see. So these are both ones and look at the tips. So this one, it is a little different. Can you see how one's shorter? But I'll try this one, see if it works better. You just wanna get a brush that can lift out the paint for you when you need it and not damage your paper too much. Okay, so we're actually working on this one. I know I jumped around, but that's how I am. I jump around to different subjects because I see them and I feel like I have to work on them. This one I need to lift out. That's where I heard made a weird shape on the eye. Okay. I'm gonna soften some of these smush around and I do need to get darker around this this little one's eye here 
it's not that it doesn't have this nice white ring there so we don't want to have something just to jump out at that that contrast will make someone you, your eye goes to it so let's just kind of keep a little bit but get rid of a little bit okay now let's go ahead and go into this one I want to how am I going to attack that whoops I'm still looking at my scrubby brush here I think I need to go do another one right here so you're working with me on like the the end part of the painting in the middle part I do a lot of this correcting and looking and it takes time so I see a line that comes down right here on this and I want to bring that line down I don't know what it's called but it looks like a little I don't know a little part of the, the, the line there I don't know what that is part of the beak okay so let's move to this one for reals now I've already got some paint mixed up I'll get some more so we did this one wet and wet let's go ahead and do this one um, with the over let's do this one we'll paint it down um, like just we'll paint all the gray and then I'll come back in and we'll do the dark okay we'll do the darks on it and we'll just still kind of skip around and this has a lot of the color of the background it's similar it's not exactly the same but so I'm just following kind of the shape of the line that I drew and it comes back over the top of this weird shaped little bird. Poor thing. And this I'll go ahead and do some, some stripey things. Okay, come around and just skip around. Don't color, don't cover, get everything. But basically we're getting that color down. Okay, so we've got that. Take my, I'm gonna take some water out of my brush so now it's less pigment. And I'll do the same thing across the belly of this bird. So we're just basically knocking back the bright yellow on this one. If you like it, you can leave it. But I'm just going to follow this along. Okay, so now the back of the head is the same thing. I'm just going to come right up the back of the head. We're going to leave that for now. Oh, first I will put some warmer color under the beak. Right under the beak, come back here. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's a little too red, but it's still going to look like a beak. And I went under it, and I want to put some yellow on top of it. Kind of merge those two together. And that's going to take my brush, my scrubby brush, the lovely scrubby brush, scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. Okay. And we'll merge that line together. Okay. What do we think of that one? So I need to also darken, um, I want to make these come together here. There's not a separation of those two. There's a difference in, in um, value, but there's not a, a separation of those two. And it's probably a good time since I said value to remind you guys about value doing the work and color getting the credit. I know I've said that a lot, and there are some new people here that haven't heard me say it, and it doesn't hurt to have it repeated. So remember, we're looking at value here. Now, I didn't draw the breast line here on this one, but I want to put it in. So it's about, if you look, it's about right here. So there's that space, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Just sort of dot it in there. And I also see a few lines kind of down here that are coming this way on it. I don't know if you see that. And while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and drop in some so that we get a little variety here. We'll come back in and drop those in just a second. Okay, let's get some dark paint. That's probably dried long enough. Um, 
So we're getting the French ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, we'll get those two together, mix them up, get our dark. So this is pretty thick paint. And let's see what happens. Is this still wet enough? Oops, it's kind of dry, but that's okay. Maybe I'll go down here where it's probably still a little bit wet. Nope, and we want this to have a variety of shapes and value. And in between, the yellow is going to show and it's going to work. Go right over the top of those. We just want to show some value sh changes and some shape changes. See the brush is just sort of kind of dancing around here, moving around. These have a little bit more. They get lighter as they come nearer to the edge of the other feathers. So just watching, it goes under his chin here. Now my brush is getting drier still, so it's skipping across the paper, which is perfect. Getting closer to the edge. I lost this, so I'm going to get that again. Darker there. Darker there. Come up on the head. So you can see it's getting, I'm losing a lot of the paint in the brush, uh, a lot of the water in the brush, so now it's just kind of dry, drier still. And I could probably spread out these and just kind of come across this bird. Let's see if we like that effect. I'm never really good at this part, like that kind of, but I think it looks fine. Kind of come up here. Okay, so I'm going to wet my brush and just sort of bring this around. This should still be wet and they should blend a little bit. Yeah. I like it. So can you guys hear water? We have a little bit of a waterfall out in front. Tom had that done and it's so pretty. I don't know if you can hear it in the background on this. So now I'm going over this and just sort of trying to blend these a little bit more. Um, it gets kind of dark down there. And then I'm going to look at it and see what I think. It looks like a chicken. It looks fine. Um, I see here on this one, I'm not super happy with what's going on here. So I'm going to use the brush, get rid of that. Because this one has that yellow face, remember, right there? See the yellow face? And this one, I lost it. However, it does go darker further up than what I did, so I could do that if I want, and it'll still look right. So, bring it up a little bit darker. Has that little dot. And yeah, so that one went away too. That somehow that darkness went away. We want to have that shadow between them. See, because that separates this one from this one a little more. And see how that's dark and then light? So let's go back and get that done. And then some more on the brown side um, between those colors. So I'm going to go ahead and push it around. We need it to match the rest though, so, and I'll bring that out. I'll fade that out. Looking at the shapes. Really, we're just trying to do the best we can with the shapes. Okay, so that looks weird as you can see, so let's get our brush wet. And I'm gonna come on the outside of it, like I've done before. And then I'll come in and touch, touch the paint and it'll follow. Come on, come on paint. 
do your thing. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy paint. Yep. And I think that looks a little better. And let's take a peek at this one. It probably needs a little more bluish gray. Oh, but I wanted to drop some blue in that one. So let me go into my turquoise, because I'm stepping back now and I'm going, okay, we're mostly getting painted, and now I have to kind of take a look and see which color is, which ones are going to have some more of the blue in there. And I think that one should. I want to put it right up in here, maybe. I want the hand to have some more, too. So I'm going to use my cobalt teal, and I'm going to put some right into her into this area. I've lost a lot of the white, so hopefully this will stand on top. And it might be a good time to just splatter on her. Put a few little drops on her. See what I think. And remember, I'm going to also change her shape. But first I'm going to finish these, um, these two. I think they're about the only ones I have left. Um, except for this one here that has some oddness to it. So, remember we have this little thing? So, um, this is an acetate, piece of acetate that is cut in curvy. And so you can find an area that should fit that. And I'm going to lift that out with a magic marker because I really want that not to look so weird. So I'm going to scoot down here and find a, an area that has about that curve. Looks like this one is about right. Oops. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I have Mr. Clean. I think I said magic marker, but I went Mr. Clean magic eraser. So for those of you who haven't used it, tear off a piece, put it in water, and squish out the water. And then I'm just going to lift it a little bit more. And this will stop me from going past that area. Now it looks more like a little head instead of whatever it was. Okay, so we're on to this one. And the beak on it is a peachy color as well. And I'm looking at my bird here, which let me see what she's like. I like that. We're going to work on her in a second. Okay, so this one needs a lot more darkness, but we're going to work the beak first. So we've got to do the... This one. Okay, it's pretty non-color, but it's peachy. So I can go ahead and do this one a little bit paler than the rest it's against it. Go away, fly. <clears throat> we were fishing today, and there were flies everywhere. I think we brought one home, Tom. So right here. Go away, fly. Hey, hun, will you come get this fly for me? <laughs> I follow us from the beach. I know. Where is it? It's just, well, it's not here. I don't know where it is now, but it was buzzing around like crazy. So you just have to stay here for a minute. I will be happy to stay here. Okay. Yay. It will probably come back. So I'm getting my dark again. I'm going to go into the eye. And the burnt sienna. You don't have as much to do. Oh, there it is. See it? Right there. Mm -hmm. You get it? Nope. Oh. Hold on, don't move. Okay. Okay, I'm in this eye. I don't see much of a white, but I can keep it in there anyway. All right, so I've got dark on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and find this shape. Do you get it? Be bugging you anymore. Yay. I don't even like to kill flies. I do. <laughs> Tom does. So right up here, coming around. Be nice and dark. Because you want the, you know, the variety of 
of the different ones. Okay, it looks like back here, um, that must be the bird. Yeah, okay, so we're good. So just a little bit here. Okay, where's my dark? The dark. The dark. Dark, dark, dark. Okay. So now we see the pattern of this feather, this guy's feathers. Whoops, maybe I was out of the picture with that. Um, this guy's feathers are coming this way. See that right here? So I'm going to try to find those, and I kind of have started them. So let's go this way. We don't need to have that. Let's pull this back. I like to be close, but it's hard to get everything in it. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And you see how he looks kind of green? I'm going to use green on him after I paint this black. This part to me looks kind of green. So let's find this one. Kind of comes down. I need a little more water in my brush, but this is fine for now because these are feathers. And I'm trying to stay away from the whites that I have on there. They're not exactly the same shape. But they were, oh, and there's a darker area here. And I'm going to come this way. And kind of squiggle it and come that way into the chest area. And it kind of comes down. I left whites there, but I didn't need them. And then I'll come this way and just follow in the shapes. So most of you know my story about miles on the brush. I want you guys to just consider that everything you paint is going toward those miles on your brush. Even those ones I did that weren't very good recently in the classes I took, I shared them in the other, the other video. Um, but I still even, you know, I consider those miles on my brush, that's experience for me. And I can always learn from something like that, even if it wasn't the best outcome. So I don't ever feel too bad about it because I'm like, okay, what did I learn from that? What can I take away from that? And it was good. Okay, so um, let me get a little bit more up on the top part here. I, there's a white part that I left and I don't need it. Okay, and I want to paint on this one. I want to do that, our turquoise. It's actually called cobalt teal, but I want to put that on this one. Right over the gray and over the white. So every place on here, we're just going to paint over it. Or at least I am. You may not want that. That may not be your background color. You may have done something entirely different, which is great. Okay, and that looks like a bird. He doesn't look like he has as much white as that one. I could try to get that, but we don't have to. If I wanted to, I would do it like this. Whoops, and lift it out. Use a Kleenex. So afterwards, you go like this. You lift, and then you would blot it, and you should be able to get a little bit of white. I'll just do it. And then you would do it on this side too. You don't have to do them all. You get the idea. I mean, your eye, remember, you kind of want to have your eye fill in some spots. Give your, give your eyes something fun to do. Give the person who's looking at your painting something fun to look at, not just be like this perfect looking chicken, right? These are far from perfect looking chickens, that's for sure. <laughs> but they're still so cute. Okay, I want to put a little more blue in there. I want it to be obvious that there's blue on that one. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. Let's fix the bird, the big one. What we're going to do, let me look at her. Let me look at her. Okay. So... 
when I look at these, she does look pretty smooth on the picture, doesn't she? But it just doesn't look right. I don't think she's as smooth in here. I see her kind of coming out a little bit. So let me get that going. Get the dark again. And I, I'm sure I can fix that. But I need it to be dark. So I'll need it to be thick. Squeeze the water out of the brush. I'm going to go right here. We're going to get it dark. And thick. Thick paint. So a consistency like uh, to creamy butter. Okay, so got that on the brush. And I see it just having a little bit of like bumps. Right? And I could do it one way or I could do it a different way. I could er erase it, basically, I was starting to say, but, you know, lift it out. But this way is another way because it's dark and it's just the edge. So I think that's what I want to do. And just a little bit of variety along the edge. I'm going back and, I'm going back and forth in the paint. And it's dark all the way up. I can make it dark here. When I make it dark here, it's going to make that waddle stand out. There's not much white around it. And I can make it darker here, too. So all that will make the waddle stand out. And then we'll come over here. I can make a few little dark marks up here. Come around a little bit here. Just the suggestion of it. Okay, so she's darker there, and I could come across and make her a little bit darker in areas along here too. We'll just find a few. That shape is going there. And a couple little ones here. Turn the brush maybe, go this way, that way. These are okay. And the same thing here. This needs to be a little bit looser shape-wise. And I see oh, my dog's dreaming. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we went feathers this way, but we also have some going kind of like this, coming across this way a little bit. And another thing I like to do, I think I want to do with her, is I think I'm going to splatter some paint on her with the same blue that I was just using. I mean, the same uh, grayish color that I was just using. So I'm just going to toss it down like that. And now I've got more water. Let's see what that does. And then the back of her even though it's pretty smooth in the painting or in the photograph, I still feel like I want to rough it up a little bit. And I like that better already. I want to tie some of this in. I, don't, I think that just sort of stops there and I think these feathers need to be tied in a little more that darkness there you see that it, it needs to kind of come over a little bit shouldn't just stop this one looks like get off of me <laughs> and I think it, I'm gonna go ahead and make it come down here a little more we get to make those decisions as we paint sometimes we don't know if they're the right ones so we get to decide, like, yeah, I think I'll try that. And again, I want her to have a little blue in her. So I'll just put a little bit here and there. A little more up here. I really like teal. Okay, so let's leave her alone. Um, I do think I want her beak to be a little bit different. I'm going to make it a little bit 
um, more orangey red. I like it, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit more defined, like it has a line here. I'm going to make it a little bit next, a little bit more colorful next to the, the black. I'm going to leave the highlight. And okay, I'll zoom in so you can see that it's a little bit more there. See it? There, I like that. Let me zoom back out. I think she's a little bit better. I may, I may give her kind of a little bit more of a, even more feathers poking out. I think she's had a rough day with her babies. I don't want them all to be the same poking out though. You know, you need to have like, okay, well this feather might be poking out more that way. And I'm wondering, I'm just thinking, now this one will stand out more if I don't put blue. I was gonna put blue down here, but I think this one will stand out more if I don't. So let me just bring her feathers down all the way. I'm gonna paint around this bird here. A little more blue. And then bring some of those out. And I kind of like that better. I still feel like that's a little too dark. Just like it's just so solidly dark. And it does look kind of solidly dark there, but I don't like it. I want to lift some of that out. I want it to have a little bit more, you know, a little variety there. Okay, and I'm going to kind of blend this out a little bit too. Okay, so some of that darker dark that I just did, the darkest dark that I did in this area, I'm going to put a few up in here. See right here? I think it needs it right in here. A little bit more blue, just sort of random. I don't want to work her too much, but I just feel like there's a couple little things that needed some help. And I think when I added this, it needed to come across like a little bit of the light needed to remain. Okay, I'm starting to like her a little bit better. Just sopping some edges of the feather pattern that I did just now. All right, let's look at it as a whole and pull away and look at it as a whole and not pick it apart as individual. We do the same thing to our own bodies. We, we don't look at ourselves as a whole and then we're like, oh, I hate that part. Oh, I hate that part about ourselves. So do this, don't do the same thing in your painting. So as a whole, overall, she looks good. Um, let's go down into her feet, which are um, basically the same as the beaks, a little bit of the red 
and the yellow. So we're going to get like a peachy look. And what we want to look at is these are our um, cylinders. So they're going to be a little bit darker on one side and darker on the other. And then they get lighter in the middle. So let's look at them that way. And this is, this is really dark under this little bird's face. So I'm going to start there. I want a little bit redder than that. I'm going to start under the bird's face. And that's a little bit of a weird area here, but it's dark, like that little knuckle thing. I don't know what it is, but it comes down here. And I see a blue on this, so I'm going to go ahead and get my blue right now. I see blue right here. You see this? It looks blue right there. So I'm going to put blue in her foot. And I'm kind of just like following these little lines over. Okay, I'm going to go back to the, the color of the foot that I'm painting. And then it's going to come down. There's a toenail. And I, it's really not there, but we're going to do it anyway. I think it needs to be a little bit yellower. I'm going to do some Indian yellow. We'll just drop it right into that foot. Come up to the beak. I'm going to do it right there, too. I'm going to keep the blue in the middle. Uh, okay, let me get closer for you. Okay, you see what I'm doing there? Okay, so now let's go over to the other side, the other foot, and we're going to go ahead and go down, partially down here. It's pretty dark there, but we'll start with this color. We can always make it darker. And as we come down, let's go ahead and bring a line across. So we come down, bring a line, bring a line closer. So we got those little wrinkly line things. Okay, we're going to keep that white in the center. Come under the little beak, or you can go over the top of the beak, but leave the beak alone. And the same thing, we're just going to bring that over like that. And then there's that area there. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of that blue. And I think I'll just put it kind of right along this side here. I want it to be a little bit darker on the underside. I'm going to use the same color in the blue. So they tie together. And I think I'm going to put some more of the blue up into this part here. So that's kind of like this part of our fingers right there. Okay, so that one looks pretty good. Let's go under this toenail. Um, I think I'm going to get a little bit darker color. I'm going to go around this little area here. and then under the toenail. And the same thing on this one, under here. We'll do a few things there too, under. And that'll make our little feet stand out. And then we got the same thing on this one. So we're gonna leave a little bit of the white going on. And let's go over to this one. Um, let me look at this. It looks a lot bluer to me to start. So let's just do the blue right here. Still going to look like a toenail because we're going to do those little lines. Go back into the toenail color, which is this one here. And we'll go over the top of it. And go around the toenail define it a little bit. And I think it's dark, a little darker back there. Let's get some of the gray that we have. And let's go ahead and make it darker in here and darker there. We want it to be darker than the chick and unfortunately that's the same. So we'll leave it like that. It looks like a toenail. We're good with that. I think it's fine. Oh, I want to get a little more blue just for the fun of it. 
just for the fun of it. Okay, and we'll do a little more on this one just for the fun of it too. Okay, let's pull it away and take a peek and decide about the background. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring some more of the blue down into these birds. Let me look at it for a minute. My cobalt teal is what I wanna use. So I'm gonna switch to a bigger brush. Um, I've got a nice big one here. All right, and I wanna bring it right on down. I'll leave a little bit of white, like here's what we did with this one. I like that. I like some of that white in there, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of that. Now I just have to decide where. So we like this bird a lot. And now that I've done a little bit of black on the bird, on the, the mama, it stands out even more. Oops, I see I need to make that mama bird a little bit darker there to match the rest of her. Um, okay, so let's, Let's consider this. This is really pretty, but I think I don't want it. I think it's too much. So, back into our main two colors, French ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Let's see if we can do this. Let's make it darker over here. And I'm just going to kind of squish, squish, squish the brush. Needs a little more water and a little more paint. We're just going to get rid of that. And I know it's disappointing because it was pretty, but we want the birds to be the main event. This will still stay behind it, and we'll still be able to see it. Right? So here we go. And we're still going to put some of that pretty blue in there. And that's what I'm going to use right now. The cobalt teal. We're going to put it right here. And this is going to mix together. It's going to neutralize it a little bit up there. We're just going to come down and get less variety of color. Okay. Now I've got water on my brush. I'm coming down. It's a big old brush. Coming right next to these. All right, I'm in a little more teal here. And what am I thinking? Drop it in. I kind of think the center of interest should be here. Obviously, we got the hen here. The chicks are obviously the main event as well, but we can't have everything. So I'm going to go ahead and come over this right next to the hen. to squeeze some more paint out here. Let's just go for it. This is pretty, so let's do it. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in. Right in the middle. Because remember you sa I said I wanted to have the color of the hens and the the, the same background color in the the uh, the subject and in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. My cobalt teal kind of stuck there. So the back of this head is okay. It'll make it stand out a little bit. Try to mess that up a little bit right there where the line formed as I was thinking. I'm going to use my tissue right here. Pick it up. 
pick up some paint. I'm gonna go down a brush size. I'm gonna go down to a smaller brush, not just a size. Okay, I'll paint around these birds. Now go right up next to them. There's a little bit too much water there. If you take the water out of your brush, it'll pull up the brush on the paper. Okay, so I've got my little bit of white left in there. And I, I want to put some more yellow there. I don't like how that's not yellow. I know it's going to turn green, but I want to have some bit of yellow in there. Getting a watercolor bloom there, which of course you know I like. Now I'm softening the edge to this. Just going to be a nice soft one. I'm okay with what's behind the bird here, but I wouldn't mind, I think I'm going to put some yellow back behind her. So I've got that bright Azo yellow, I believe it is. It's also called Aurelian. So I think I'm going to put a little bit behind her. And then I think I'll put a little bit in front of her too. She gets a little glow then. Of course it's turning green, but that's okay. And then we can kind of tie them together. And just taking a peek at it. Softening the edge. I'm happy with that. Do I like it? I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so I think I need to bring it a little further down right here. And onward. Let's go underneath and we'll continue on with our our uh, background. That's what I'm trying to say. Mostly here. I'm just following along a branch that I made, right? Okay, so we wanted to have similar colors. We'll go around this toe and see when we put this color here, it looks like that's what's reflecting in her toes, right? It doesn't look as strange now. Let's get some yellow in there. So we kind of have the same idea going. And it can fade on down. It can even drip if we want. We can make a tip. We could do like this. It might be fun to do. And then maybe put a little yellow there too. Make it drip. Can you guys hear the chicks outside my window? <laughs> I'm back in with the teal, trying to get some drippiness going. Yeah, can you guys believe it? 40, about 40 chicks and more ducks. And I chose the Muscovies because I like that they don't quack. Now these are quackers. <laughs> these are quackers. 
Okay, so up here, looks like my when I tipped it, I got some yellow head, heading over here. So I'll take my tissue and just pick it up. I'm going to have to decide if my background's too busy. That's why I tried to dull it down over there. And I don't know yet. I can't decide. A lot of times it's good just to sit it, you know, let it go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the darker over here. So it kind of comes around a little bit. And then it's sort of like sort of like dark and then it comes through this way. So this is sort of where I'm trying to keep the light. So you know what I'm going to use? Burnt sienna. And my blue. Um, of course, I could mix them on the paper. That's what I did up on top. So there's that branch. So I'm going to leave the branch. And my blue. Go back into blue so we can see some blue on there. Blue again. Let that show through. And maybe now we'll get into some of the nice teal. See how it's more pure teal there? Now we'll get those mixed together a little bit. Dirty up that teal somewhat. I can put some teal in that if I want. Okay, now I gotta come down to the branches, paint around the branches, come across. If we want it to, to be similar to what's above there, we're going to have to put some of that yellow in it, just sort of imitate it a little bit. Water next to it, go between the branches, into the yellow. So next up is our horse. Woohoo! I don't have to keep the white because that could just be like a further background, like something off in the distance or whatever. Okay, so then I'm going to go around the branch and this one too. A little bit of teal. Those two together make a pretty green. Don't they? Another teal. I think I guess I had. I think I made a new branch here. I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> there. Now I don't have that branch. And teal here. I don't mind if that branch just continues on. I'm going to paint it right next to that one. It's gotten a little bit thin, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that one. <laughs> it's okay, we'll see if I need to fix it later. Okay, I'm going to do some more burnt sienna right here. Just drip that in there. And let's take a peek and see what I like, what I don't like. I think I'm going to do my uh, neutral color right here too. That's the French ultramarine blue. We're just going to kind of have it go around it a little bit. They separate because of their type of pigments they are. So let's put this one on top. More blue it looks like. We're just about done. Done, done, done. What time is it? 5.44. Okay, I'm going to use my tissue because I want that to come a little bit less um, 
I guess, bold. Okay, let me take a peek at this. See how I feel about it. What am I thinking? Looks like this is a little bit hard edge there. I think, I think I don't mind it. I think it's okay. Maybe I'll put a little bit right there. Okay, I'm going to study it for just a second, see what jumps out, see what I don't like. I feel like the branches need to be darker. Okay. So, same colors. I just kind of feel like they need to have a little bit more to them. The white's okay. Remember I was thinking it would be like, it would show like the, uh, um, a reflected light from underneath. I think that's okay. I'm fine with that. We didn't paint the other toenails on the on these, but that's okay. Okay, let me get this a little bit here too. Almost wondering if I uh, don't want to let those kind of like drift out. I don't know how to, you know, like, like f be wet into wet and just sort of like go out into the background. Almost wondering if I want to do that. Okay, so now I'm back into the French ultramarine blue to make those branches darker, just like we did on the rest of the painting. And the only reason I added this was because I thought, um, I just want it to look a little more like it's a, a um, you know, like she's out in the wild or something. So I'm going to try to add that branch back in. See if that's a mistake. on top. Again, these are just suggestions of branches. They're not anything special. Okay, I think it's good enough for this recording. Um, usually what I do, as you know, is I'll set it aside and I will look at it later. I tell you guys to take a break from your painting so you can look at it with fresh eyes later. And um, the same holds true for me. When I look at your paintings, I'm seeing them all from like my own um, vision of what I've seen. So it's hard for me to do a lot of um, fresh eye looking, I guess you could say, <laughs> with yours. So um, uh, one thing I see is I think I want to have a little more well, no, I think I was thinking I might want to have a little more yellow, but I don't think so. I think I'm happy with this. I think it's okay. I'm not opposed to it. Okay, so like I was saying, I might, might want to have the, the branches look like they're kind of just fading into the background. So I just thought I'd put that out there and see what that looks like. I need a little bit more, though. Another thing I could try to do, let's see if it would work. Whoops, this is getting a little bit weird edge, so 
I'm going to give that a tissue. Um, like, you know, like to splatter paint. Let's do that. So I'm just going to go right into the ultimate or French or blah, 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 uh, burnt sienna. And I'm going to tap my brush here. And we'll just make it look like it's got a little bit of a little bit of movement. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I might want to do a smidgen of that more. That one's good. I can leave that. And I, but you know how I like to throw the paint, so I'm going to throw it this way. Just that's the way the brush, or that's the way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a smaller, smaller brush. That's the way the um, the branches are going. So why not? Why not do that? And maybe I'll put a little bit of the French ultramarine blue on it, make it a little bit more or less bright brown. Okay, so a little more water, and I'm going to tap the brush that way. That's a little bit too dotty for me. I thought this was my brush that threw better, but apparently I was mistaken. Let me try this one. I don't think I've tried this one before. All the brushes do different things when you kind of try to splatter them. So it's interesting. You just kind of have to play around with them. I have so many new brushes right now, I don't even know what the heck they do. Okay. Well, that one's good. So you see how that kind of loosened up that area, and I like it. All right, so I'm going to take a picture of this, share it with you guys, and then I'll share the video, and I apologize for the live not working. We'll get this figured out. It's just, just a bump in the road, right? We'll get it figured out. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I will sing you a song, because that's the way we end it. And here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, you're a star. Keep your brush near, not far. Splash your paint, you're doing great. Just like we did. It looks great, huh? Oh, whoops. Um, enjoy your project, do not wait. Twinkle, twinkle, you're a star. Keep your brush near, not far. Okay, so I am going to do a little bit more there. Whoops, because I disappeared. It was pretty wet. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you soon. I will be back in the group to say hi, and we'll talk then, okay? Sorry about the live not working. I'm so sorry. All right, bye.